Jay's Haskell Health and Fitness fans, welcome back to my living room, kind of. Um, I'm with a very special guest today. I'm with Chloe May Lee, who is a winter sports supremo. Very is pretty that a word? fitness. Yeah, it is. It is a fitness guru who's helping transform people around the world and the country. Maybe the country. Let's not get too big. Um, no, I have international clients. Give me credit. Sorry, she has international <laughs> clients. Um, now we are here to talk about health and fitness okay. because that is your area of expertise and we have loads of people um, in Body Fire on our Twitter who want to know about women's fitness. So I want to know from you, using my very fetching Body Fire question pad, um, how did you get into this? Like, Obviously everyone knows who you, sort of your folks are, how did you, I would have thought you would have followed them into TV work. I, I did for a while, um, but it just, I don't know, that, that click, that passion thing never really happened. Um, and then I met someone who, uh, I, I basically said I will never get, I will never get abs, I'll never get ripped up, it's just not in my makeup, it's not in my genetics. Um, and he kind of laughed and said, well, I'll prove you wrong. And he did, and within three weeks he got, he had me in the weight section, and he taught me a lot about nutrition, and my body just completely changed. And I fell in love with training. I fell in love with the kind of mental uh, push and and kind of structure and, and strictness that you you had to apply in order to get a result. Um, and it just like honestly, mentally and physically, completely changed me. Um, and I didn't want to be one of those kind of you know reality celebrity girls who just starts a fitness business and talks a load of you know tech that she doesn't know. So I got qualified um, and I got all my qualifications and I started my own business. Just from the very first opening sentence you used words like ripped and stuff like that. Yeah. Is that the kind of language that you've developed? Because a lot of people I meet, um, especially with the women, the, the biggest fear is things like getting too ripped or getting too big or too bulky. I mean, it, mm -hmm. that's obviously, is that terms you would use your clients or you talk more about toning and getting in shape and stuff? Yeah, I mean, the biggest misconception about women lifting weights is that they're going to get big and bulky. Um, it doesn't work like that. We don't have testosterone. Um, we only have a smidgen of it. Um, and we are. Whereas I've got anything too much testosterone. He's got too much and we've got too little. Um, you are never going to get big and bulky if you lift weights unless you're literally lifting for five, six years. So when it starts to happen, you can tailor it and you can in, kind of taper it and tone it down. So if your biggest piece of advice to women looking to get in any form of shape, uh, and there's lots of you out there, whether that's weight loss or anything else, that is lift weights. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it, well, it depends. You know, obviously, if I have kind of two types of clients, I have the clients that want to drop a dress size, um, lose a stone, whatever. You can do that through probably diet alone, to be totally honest. A um, little bit of cardio, like yeah, a little bit of exercise, fine. If you come to me, if my clients come to me and they say, I want to change my body and I want this, this, and this toned, then I'm like, you pick up a weight. And they always say, no, I don't want to get bulky. And I always say, you're not going to get bulky. It took me two years of training before I started to see real muscle. And if and if it's too much, then I just stop training that area for a while and it dies down. You've heard it here, right, ladies, you need to lift weights, you're not gonna get bulky. And it takes time to get changes that you want, so please do not freak out. Venture into the weight section. There's a whole other video about how men make the weight section intimidating, and yes. we'll talk about. We'll talk about. She's ready to go off on one about that. We'll talk about that. But um, just quickly, I think it'd be interesting to finish this video off with. You admitted to me, obviously off camera, that you've got a little bit fluffy mm -hmm. um, by doing the jump, mm -hmm. because apparently you've got the excuse that oh, it's a bit of hard work. So you have to eat cake. I don't know how that works. Um, I've, used exactly that excuse. How it works. I've used that excuse many times. You use that excuse every day. Yeah, I do, yeah. you've got you to do. have a coffee and a piece of cake. It's the law. Um, to get the figure you got and to, to get back into shape, how often would you train? It's really interesting. When I started, I had to train seven days a week for, I would say, 12 weeks um, to get into the best shape I could get into. So now, seven days a week for 12 weeks, you say? But now, no, yeah. now my body's different. I can do it in three, um, and that's because I train. But I do train every day, and uh, I normally, I sometimes have one rest day. Um, I actually get thrown a lot of questions from journalists about exercise addiction because they hear me say that and they're like, oh, you know, you must have a problem. And I'm like, no, just being active is, I, 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 don't, I don't play on a sports team like you and I'm not an Olympian, you know, like Louise Hazel, who I just did the jump with. But I see my body is an, an, an athlete's body. You know, I train it, I train it every day and I love it. Um, and I take care of it as well. If I feel like I need a rest, I will rest. But um, yeah, I, I, I tend to train seven days a week. 
Chloe, thanks so much for your um, time today. We really appreciate it. This is a series of videos we're gonna do, so this is the first part, so stay tuned for more to come. If you like this video, then please comment in the bottom. If you've got questions for Chloe, she has her own fitness business, Fitness Fondue. She's on Twitter, she's on Instagram, it's Maybe Chloe. Um, you can tweet her or any sort of questions. She's fantastic getting back to you. I'm always tweeting her, can I eat that pie? No, <laughs> you can't. Um, rate the video, I obviously rate myself. Yes, you do. Very highly. <laughs> uh, rate the video, please subscribe, share this content. We'll be back soon. Like level, you got like anyone at home can start training. Any woman out there can start today looking after themselves and eating properly and will get results. And she doesn't need to drop money. You know, if she wants to.